Right, there's one. There's one on my table. I'm letting aquatic bugs roam around on my table. This is absolutely insane. Hello everybody, welcome to today's vlog. Where should I be looking? First off, I need to address a few things. Uh, first thing, don't ask why I'm wearing a shirt. It's just the only thing I could find and I think it suits me, so leave me alone. Second thing, these are weekly videos as you may have noticed. Third thing, Axel's adorable. So today, we're gonna go fishing again. Whew, and the tide's high, so that actually gives us a really good chance. Oh, oh, oh. So I just want to address the, this is the kind of spinner I have on the rod right now. This is the one I'm gonna put it on. These ones actually do a good job spinning, and this is slightly heavier, so I'll be able to cast a lot further with this, so I don't know why I didn't start with that, but uh, that line tastes salty. Oh. I wonder why. Okay guys, so we're all suited up. Oh, I don't know what kind of voice I made there. Okay guys, okay guys, okay guys. Okay guys, so we're all suited up, kitted up, ready to go, ready to catch some fish. This looks like a good spot. Look guys, found evidence of life. This is... What is that? This little rock pulse is full of life. This is a European green crab. It's listed in the top 100 uh, of invasive species. Look at this. That's not focusing. This doesn't mean this is the 100th invasive species. This is an invasive species that is in the list of top 100. Sometimes little fish, which is what I'm looking for. Hey guys. Welcome to the beach. I'm not quitting this video till I have a fish. There it is! No, he's gone. He's gone. No way, there was one actually here. I just had a freaking amazing idea. Dude, no. That's such a freaking good idea. I need to run up to the house. Now, a lot of you are not going to agree what... Fuck! Now, a lot of you are not going to agree with what I'm about to do. The vast majority of you will say it's wrong or it's cruel, but I would like to establish that it is not wrong and it is not cruel. It's more of a common practice than you would think. I'm not going to spoil what I'm about to do. Yeah, I'll just let this carry on. Guys. Guys, we're... Okay, hold on. Let me sort things out and then I'll get back to you. Look at it. He's posing for the camera. I think we should put him in the jar. And then if we don't find the fish, we can have an isopod as a pet because I'm weird as hell. Look at this. This is the new one I found. There's my hand. He's a freaking giant. I don't think... Again, I don't think they bite. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, these giant isopods look sick. Look at them go! That's so freaking cool. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bit of rough housing going on. I'm gonna have to take a couple of these home, seriously. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. You can see one moving. But we officially um, have grown our family in... in the house, because we have two aquatic isopods here. I, I have problems. Uh, this is insane. What's wrong with me? Why am I taking out creatures from the sea and freaking keeping them? Right, there's one. There's one on my table. I'm letting aquatic bugs roam around on my table. This is absolutely insane. Right, I need some name suggestions for these two. Oh, he chooses to crawl on me, he's gonna go up my sleeve. Oh my god, you guys are insane. You guys are insane. This is weirdly cool. <laughs> Axel, I know, I know. Ah, uh, you might have seen that, that was, um, some of the plant matter. 
Shush! Isopods are sca- Oh, that's like magnified. That's gonna be so freaking cool. <laughs> Isopods are scavengers, and I have some small animals in here. Isopods will feed on decaying plant and animal matter. So that plant in there is for them to feed on. But their diet will be varied, very varied. And I'm gonna give them a water change once a day. Hello. Oh, he's off, he's gone, he's gone. I'll, I'll eventually move them to something better. That's freaking cool. Oh, they look so prehistoric. I'm thinking what we're gonna do is this is the lighter one. I know, I know, I know. I don't, I don't know how you could tell if they're male or female. But we're Ooh. gonna say the lighter one is female and darker one's male. Look at them. That's freaking cool. You can see their eyes. This is so cool. He's going. She's going around the back. So I'm thinking something catchy like Jack and Jill. They're not gonna stay in a glass forever. I will be moving them to the tub. Don't worry. Whoa, you can see his little fins going. Guys, I'm stoked. I'm so stoked. Yeah, I can see the little fins moving on their tails. I have very, very, very weird obsessions. That's an understatement. I have extremely, extremely, extremely weird obsessions. Why, why do I want to keep these? Because they're freaking awesome, that's why. That's gonna do it for this video. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for the, this video. I know what I'm doing, I know all about them in their natural habitat, and I will try to recreate that as much as possible. Before moving them into the tub, um, which will happen at some point, just not today.